Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mothering in Style, where I share my love for fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and bring you along on my motherhood journey. So in today's video, you guys are gonna get ready with me and I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite things that I've purchased this month. So stick around to the end so that you don't miss out and let's get straight into it. So today my plan is to create some content. So I'm going for kind of a full face. So that is the plan. And that gets me to my first favorite, which you guys saw me try out for the very first time in my clean girl, what's it called? <laughs> clean girl makeup routine video where I tried out that whole clean girl aesthetic for the first time. I'll link it above if you haven't already seen it. And that is the Dior Face and Body Foundation. And I absolutely love it. Now that I've used it for a few weeks and I've kind of gotten used to it, I just absolutely love it. I've kind of changed how I use it. And um, that is in the sense that in that video, I put it on first and did all my concealer and blush after, which isn't what I normally do. But I kind of felt, let me just use the foundation and kind of the normal way for the first time that I used it. What I'm doing now is the way that I've been doing it over the past few weeks that I've been trying out the foundation and that is to do my concealer and my blusher and my contour first and I just really like the way that this has been looking. That's the way that I would normally do kind of my face base routine anyway so that's what I'm doing today and then I'll show you as I apply the foundation and tell you what I love about it now that I've blended out my concealer my contour and blusher I'm going to apply the foundation so the thing that I absolutely love about this foundation the numerous things that I love about this foundation are that it looks really natural which I feel like you can see in my previous video I feel like I got a really good shade match for me in this foundation as well. Um, but also, you can build it a bit. If you want a little bit more coverage, you can build it. And I think with a lot of these kind of natural finished foundations, sometimes they don't build at all. I'm not saying that you can build it to full, full coverage, but to be honest, I'm not a full coverage girl, so that doesn't really bother me. But if you're a full, full coverage girl, you might not you know, feel the same. Um, but you can build it to what I would say is like a medium coverage and it does wear really well like during the course of a full day. Obviously in my last video I was trying it for the first time um, so I kind of had no idea how it was going to look over time and I don't feel as someone with oily skin that this foundation makes me get shiny. I find that it lasts all day and that it really gives you a glowing skin look and who doesn't want that look? I just don't even understand what other look you would want to go for. That is the look. And that is the foundation blended out. I love it. I wear the shade, what is it? 6.5 neutral in case anyone feels that they will reference me as a shade match. Next up, I'm just gonna set my face. As always, Laura Mercier, the OG. Do we use any other setting powder? I don't really think we do, but you know, I haven't tried that many to be honest. But I'm just gonna set under my eyes. I was actually gonna do this with a sponge. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I need more. I'm gonna do a sponge. Okay, base set. Now on to two other favourites. So first up is Glossier. Um, solar paint again I used this in the clean girl video and I absolutely love this I've used it quite a few times now and I really really like it I'm not going to use it today but that is because I have another new favorite I just love bronzers I really really do love bronzers and it's so rare to still it is so rare to find a bronzer for dark skin and I really heard good things about this one which is the du Juvia's Place <laughs> I not say the name it's Juvia's Place it's called Bronzed um, and it's in deep dark that is the shade that I use this is how it looks 
And I actually think how it's showing you on camera is actually quite true to life. The bottom one does look a bit purple. And to be honest, I haven't tried that. But this top one, I really, really like. I always apply my bronzer with an angled fluffy brush. I think this one was from e.l.f. I'm not sure, it's so old, it's all rubbed off. Um, but as I said, I use the top one and I really just use that under, it's kind of under but also on top my cheekbone. I try not to put it too low because if you're putting your bron if you're applying your bronzer here, it's actually making your cheek look lower. So I do it here. I really just tap my brush in it and it looks as though I'm applying a lot but I'm not actually adding any more onto the brush. I just continue to blend and to rub it in and I think it gives a really bronzed effect which I love and I think especially for spring and for summer, who doesn't want to look like a bronzed babe? I just think we all want to look like bronzed babes out here. So that is how I use it. I really like the finish of it. I think the colour is really nice. I will try out at some point that more purpley one, but I think I would use that as an eyeshadow. I also love to wear my bronzer in my crease. So I just think it makes the look come together really seamlessly when you've got like the same colours that you use across your whole face. So I just dust it really lightly kind of along the lid, but more so in my crease. And I really bring it out to my eyebrow here and put it quite high as well. And I'm kind of joining it with where I put it here. And that's just something that I saw on TikTok. <laughs> but I kind of like how it works, so I'm doing it. Okay, that is the bronzer. And do you see just like the definite, the cheekbone definition? I mean, it's just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You can see it for yourself. I just think it's a really, really good one. Um, next, I'm just gonna highlight quickly. I'm gonna use my trusty Fenty. I have so many highlighters and this is the one that I use every day. I also heard that apparently we're not wearing highlighter anymore. I was watching a video and this girl was like, oh, we're not wearing highlighter like we did back in 2009. And I was like, I'm still wearing highlighter. <laughs> Am I the only one who's still wearing highlighter? My next favourite is a set of lashes. And these are um, from Girls With Attitude London. Don't know who they are. I've never heard of them before, but I just picked these up in my local, I think it was Savers, that I bought these in. I think they're like 2 dollars a pack, and I just really needed some lashes. I bought some on the off chance, and I really, really liked them, so I went back and stocked up on a few sets. They're all named after like different animals, so this set is Wolf. They're really fluffy um, and the band is really thin, which is what I like about them. The set that I'm going to wear today are these. I can't find the packet for them, but I think these were called Cheetah. And to me, they're like a little bit extra, but not too extra, if you know what I mean. So they are my next favourite, really affordable. I think they look like a good quality lash. I'm not a lash expert, but I just know what I like. and. These, to me, just give like a really nice fluffy lash look. Okay, that is the lashes on. I did not do that on camera because I'm just not a lash connoisseur like that. I'm just doing my best. You girls just trying the best. So that is them on. Okay, next favorite is a lipstick. This lipstick is from MAC and I got this when I traded in my empties. So anytime I trade in my empties at MAC, I always try and challenge myself to try out a new shade rather than just topping up on something that I've run out of. So this shade is called Turn to the Left. It's one of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. So it's a MAC lipstick. And it's kind of this dark brown, it has a little bit of a purpley red undertone to it, but I think it's giving 90s brown girl vibes, which I really like.
There are very few lipsticks that I can get away with wearing without a liner. This one falls into that category, so it's just a winner for me because it's just easy to apply, it's quick, all that good stuff. Okay, so now I'm just gonna finish getting ready because I'm planning to film another video straight after this one, but I will come back and show you the rest of my favorite. So the next set of favorites that I wanted to show you is some jewelry, and this is from Omolola Jewelry. They are a black owned British jewelry brand, and I've spoken about them on my channel before because I've ordered from them before. I absolutely love their pieces, and they really kindly sent me a PR package of some of their spring summer collection and there are some absolute gems in here like they're absolutely stunning um, and this isn't an ad or anything but I just wanted to share it with you guys because I just think this stuff is gorgeous and I love to support black owned brands so some of my favorite pieces are this bangle and ring set kind of just like a twisted bangle and it comes with a matching ring which I really love and has kind of become my day-to-day -day ring and then there's also this kind of like heavy chain necklace which when I first opened, I wasn't as sure about this one because I normally go for a more dainty necklace, but it looks so nice on, and especially if you're going for a more minimal um, earring, this for me is just a really nice touch that you get that heavier gold necklace. If you're wearing something with an open neck, it's a really nice heavy necklace to wear back with it. And then also what I'm really liking is this necklace here, which is a little naked lady. And that's what I love about it because I know this whole naked vibe is on trend at the moment. Um, and you see a lot of like vases and candles in this kind of style. But I just really like the idea of it being a necklace and it's really subtle as well. So I love this and I've been wearing this quite a lot since I received it. And then next up are some hoops. And I actually think Omolola Jewelry do the best gold hoops on the market. Like I have some really nice Masoma hoops. I've got loads of different hoops, but I just think they have such a variety of gold hoops. There's like something for everyone. And somehow they manage to do like a different twist on a hoop every time. So these are some of my favorite ones. I haven't worn all of these yet. The ones that I have worn are these, which are kind of like, is that like a bamboo texture? I think it's a bamboo texture that is in a hoop. And this isn't a full hoop, so it's kind of like that three quarter hoop look. They look really nice on because they're a bit more minimal. And then I also really like, I'm gonna try out these bigger, more statement hoops and this pair because these are kind of small, which is what I think is nice about them. Let's try them on. I haven't actually even tried these ones on. Oh yes. Yeah, I like these. Oh yeah. Okay, I absolutely, I love them. Do you know what, I just like the fact that they're thick, but they're small. So they're kind of statement, but they're small. D does that make sense? I just think that is really nice. Normally a statement hoop is like really big, but I like that these are a little bit smaller. Sometimes in hoops, I can feel a little bit, I don't know, I feel like hoops have this way of going from being like classy to a little bit on the other side of that. But these, to me, are within the classy spectrum and I really like them. Okay guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments box down below and let me know what some of your favorite things are that you've purchased this month, because I might want to check those out. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. If you want to know how to look elevated, pricey, expensive, all those good things, Number one, subscribe to the channel, join the family. But number two, I will link a video here for you to watch next and I would love to see you in the next one. Take care, bye.